You're all familiar with this, the locking wrench. Standard, all metal construction. It's been around since man invented the wheel or the wheel nut. As you can see, it's robust. It does a lot of things. You adjust the tension by the knurled nut at the end and then, out, got it wrong, loosen it off a bit, clamp on, there you go. If you want to go on to something else, you can adjust the tension, get the jaws roughly to where it should be. Now, got it wrong again, clamp on, loosen up, that's not tight enough, unlock it, clamp on, you're ready to go. It's a great product, it's not changed for hundreds of years, but as you can see, it is fiddly and it does get on your nerves when you have to go from one size to another. Now, all that has changed with this, the automatic locking wrench from CH Hansen. They've been manufacturing stuff like this since 1866, so they know what they're talking about. All metal construction again, you adjust your tension by the little knurled nut in the middle there, clockwise for higher tension, anti-clockwise for lower tension, just a little twiddle there, and then you leave it alone. Everything else locks automatically, and then to release, it's just the lever. Look at this, we're gonna try out, I've got a selection of different sizes here. We're gonna try out, and I'm gonna put the stopwatch on just to see how good this piece of kit is. So, right, let's get cracking. Stopwatch running. Coach nut. Done. Quick release. Eye hook. Locked on. Quick release. Tube. There you go. 32 mil pipe. It even does that. Look at that. Little wall bracket. I'm locked on. Electrical connection block. Locked on. Locked off. Massive eye screw. Locked on. Locked off. Compression fitting. Here we go again. Locked on. Locked off. Bracket, locked on, locked off, and a great big bolt at the end. Locked on, locked off, stop the clock. 42.09, I'll bet you can't beat that. If you'd like to try, for more details, visit realdealsforyou.com.